I was asleep. My oldest son called me about 11.30 and said, Mom, Tim's been in an accident and it's not good. And they actually had to um, put the shockers on him, you know, to bring him back because I guess he flatlined like twice on Kickapoo Road. And that's when they sprayed the orange on the tire of the car and the orange paint on the ground. And I was told that they do that when there's a fatality in an accident. When we went to St. Francis, we was put in a family room. And we seen Tim actually coming off of the ambulance and wheeled into the triage room. And uh, he looked bad. At that point, a doctor came in and told me that they didn't really expect him to make it 48 hours. You know, we would rub his face and talk to him and soothe him, and it, it did seem like it helped, even though they said that he couldn't hear us or he was unresponsive. And when he would cry, it, I didn't know if he was hurting or if he was sad or if he was reliving the accident or whatever it might have been. He had real tears. And if we would, you know, stand beside him, rub his face, put a cold rag on his head, it, it, it calmed him. Well, they told me when he was in the hospital, they said, you know, this is as good as he gets. And he was on a ventilator at that time. And they really wanted me to either, you know, unplug the ventilator, see what was going to go on, let him go, or send him to a nursing home. And I'm like, no, but I can't do that, you know. And some of the family members, um, it's like, my old son is like, Mom, what kind of life is Tim going to have? You know, he's not going to want to live like this. And I guess I was being selfish as a mom. I, I wasn't prepared to let my son go. So I didn't. So then we got past the point of the ventilator and the oxygen, but then, you know, Tim's just laying in bed and he's crying. I'm thinking, oh, God, you took an active boy and made him, you know, just, just existing. You know, there was no life. But now... Boy, he bowls, he goes shopping, and if he's not out spending money, he's not happy. It's pretty bad he beats his sister bowling, don't you? Nikki. <laughs> she bowls like crap, don't she? <laughs> yeah, he's got some great therapists. They get in here and they get on the floor with them, and one raps with them, <laughs> or she tries. That was funny, huh, when Stacy tried to rap with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I honestly believe that if God wasn't with him, he wouldn't be here. And between his guardian angels, which I believe is his grandmother, and God, he's, and his determination and, you know, family help, he's come so far, you know, and, and I know that God was with him. Sometimes he gets a little depressed, um, and he says, you know, just take me to a nursing home and drop me off, because he gets so disgusted, because he, he's now remembering what he used to do, but... For him to be where he's at right now, compared to where he was just six months ago, I'm happy. I'm getting my boy back. You know, he may never be 100% the way he was, but we're going to get him as close as we can. See, this one, yes, he acts like he wants to give me a hug, and then he does this. Ah! Damn me! Damn, you're doing too... Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ah, okay. You win, you win, you win, you win, you win. Chicken. Chicken. Okay, be nice to mom, be nice to mom.